Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all well and in this video we are going to talk about lazy loading. Lazy loading is a popular concept in Angular 2. Whenever someone says the features of Angular 2, they automatically go um, components ahead of time compilation, lazy loading and all that. So a uh, lot of people ask me to do, uh, there are many articles already circulating on lazy loading and a lot of people ask me to do like a very basic one uh, about lazy loading, how to implement it in a bare bones application, I mean in a, in a application, in your Angular 2 application. So uh, I decided to make this video. And the reason why I haven't made a video for like uh, around uh, 10 days I guess is that I felt sick guys, I told you already right, uh, in my previous two or two, so, two or so videos I was sick and then uh, I was recovering so I thought maybe I could take rest for some days and then anyway let's uh, move on with lazy loading. Uh, lazy loading in a kind of simple way if you want to, if I want to say, it's like uh, loading parts or modules of the application as and when they are required instead of loading everything at a time thereby reducing your uh, startup time of the application so it decreases the startup time thereby it would look like the application loads faster on any system right that's called lazy loading whenever a module is needed it will be uh, loaded into the browser and then used if it's not needed it won't be uh, loaded that's the whole point of lazy loading so let's see how to write code to implement this in an Angular 2 application. So first of all, what I have done here is I just have an application. Uh, it's a blank application that I just scaffolded out of, out of uh, this uh, um, uh, Angular CLI. The version I'm using is the latest one, the 2.3, something, the latest one. Okay, so first what I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and create, I haven't created anything, right? I'll go ahead and create a component. So ng generate um, component first okay okay uh this is done right so let's get into first we'll create a routing file app dot routing dot ds and in this, let's create uh, as usual the routing thing. I have already discussed this in a lot of previous videos. Sorry guys, first component. Okay, so uh, simple routing configuration file. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll add a module. So this lazy loading is all about loading the modules as and when required, right? So let's add a, a module. The module we'll name it as, uh, we'll create a folder and inside that we'll have a extra, extra module, okay. Uh, and inside this we'll have all the uh, files for example I'll have a uh, extra dot component dot ts and then I'll have a extra dot module dot ts and then I'll have a uh, extra dot Routing dot sorry, so extra dot right dot routing dot ds. Okay, so uh, now as you can see, I just created a module. You you get the concept right? Angular 2 is all about like the ng modules concept is all about writing our own mo our own modules or making use of some other modules from some other code, and then we can take that module and use it in our our code. That's the Angular 2 has literally redefined the modular development. Uh, in web applications guys 
if you write a module for a single purpose uh, say for example you write a module for uh, calculating the uh, addition of two numbers okay <laughs> it's a very simple module uh, that same module you can use across multiple applications if you just import it inside your application so like that you assume that we have a module separately here and that module comes with its own routing configuration and it has a component okay now as usual uh, in this uh, import uh, Oh, sorry. What am I doing? Okay. Sorry guys. This is extra module. Extra module is another module guys. So it shouldn't come inside app module, right? Luckily we found out now itself. Otherwise we'll just copy this, uh, paste it here. Okay. And uh, delete this. Now let's get into extra module. Uh, routing as well. Let's copy it from here. Paste it here, and then uh, import uh, extra component from uh, dot sorry, dot slash extra dot component. Okay. And uh, what we'll do is get into extra dot component, finish the code here, and then come back. So import as usual. This is also uh, very familiar syntax for us from from rectangular slash core at component component, and uh, inside this template. Paragraph extra component. Okay, nothing fancy in this. I'm just simply displaying it as uh, extra com. Then we'll export this export class uh, extra component. Okay. Okay. Now save this. Get back here, and then define roots for this. Uh, so what we'll be doing is uh, const roots and uh, roots equal to an array as usual and it is uh, it'll just have one path component uh, will be extra com sorry this will be extra component uh, and then export these roots export uh, const routing that same thing which we did uh, just now module with provider is equal to router module here you should give for child okay so since this is a feature module and not actually the root module so this will be roots okay so uh, now make use of this in module this is the same configuration as for whenever we write an extra uh, feature module for our application import uh, ng module from rectangular slash sorry not core core and uh, import extra component from uh, uh, extra dot extra sorry dot extra dot component component and uh, import routing from uh, dot slash extra dot routing routing at ng module and inside this import Routing comma declarations extra component. Okay, that's also done. And then export class uh, extra not component extra module right extra module. Okay, so now we have a simple feature module which contains a which contains its own root configuration file. And uh, a component that that component has a template extra component that's all no functionality in that. Okay, so uh, now we are linking this to our uh, main application. 
it's already present inside the main application but anyway uh, the thing is we need to lazy load this module uh, while startup right while our application loads so first what we will do is uh, get into app.routing and define a path for this so here i'll give path extra and comma instead of component i will give it as load children uh, load children uh, this will be like that thing extra module right extra module slash extra dot module uh, hash extra module module okay so what this load children will do instead of components i am using this property load children property what this will do is it will uh, uh, how the application runs is that this code is getting compiled right so components will get compiled into component factories and whenever the so sorry modules in this case modules right modules will get uh, the uh, compiled into ng module factories and whenever a module is needed it the factory will be requested and the module will be got from that and then uh, uh, used accordingly so what will happen here is the load children will request the module uh, that is the extra module here uh, only when it is needed that's the reason why i'm using load children here so now that we have a path let's get into app.component.html and then give to anchor tags router link router link right l will be a capital i guess okay router link equal to uh, first first and then a second a router link link equal to uh, extra extra and hyphen a okay and uh, a router outlet for so that our routes get i mean our components get displayed right so okay now app dot module i no app dot module we didn't include uh, so import routing from uh, what was this dot slash uh, app dot routing and then inside this we'll so now here declarations is imports routing okay very very simple uh, everything we have taken care of here we have border routing and everything and then we have a routing and then we have uh, links to call those routes and uh, that's it let's see how this runs fine or uh, uh, let's see whether this runs fine now first works and then extra extra component also gets loaded right so you might wonder um, the app just behaves in the normal way right what's the uh, purpose of this so if uh, all the modules no are not getting loaded wait i'll show you in a better way uh, for example uh, i'll refresh this once okay this is the oh, sorry not extra first or we'll just give blank okay this is how the app is loaded for the first time imagine like that so if i come to sources you can see that uh, some files are get js files the compile files are getting loaded here right into the browser now when i click on extra watch what happens you get a new file called 0.chunk.js that was not there before right see first i'm clicking and then i'm refreshing this 0.chunk.js is not there only when i click on extra that is getting loaded in the browser right so which means that whenever we want that module to be loaded or whenever that module is needed only that module is getting loaded here that is the whole uh, concept of lazy loading condensed in a single line so what this implies is that the app will load very very fast uh, when it starts up and the uh, thereby satisfying the user requirement right uh, it, it's an added feature for the user since he, he sees that his app uh, app is loading fast and the developer has some satisfaction so that's the concept of lazy loading guys uh, now this application has just i have just shown only one module and you might wonder what's the point of this but uh, suppose you write a large application with a lot of feature modules 
and uh, you use those modules all combined and then uh, all that thing is there and uh, that will automatically increase the uh, file size of the distribution file uh, i mean uh, the production file and uh, the application startup time will increase right in that case if you use uh, this lazy loading concept then uh, you can uh, obviously give a much faster application even though you have used a lot of modules uh so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone else and help them too if you like this video kindly hit on the like button and uh, kindly subscribe to my channel to watch more cool videos like this talk to you guys in my next video bye